For the little bit of the rub, nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Russell Westbrook and the Rockets hosting the Thunder, of course, Russell's old team, Richard Jefferson, with me for this one. And entering the game, Westbrook had scored a triple-double against every NBA team besides the Thunder, of course. So he was able to get that again in this one. The Rockets would lead by 15, but RJ, the Thunder, for to go on a run under 6 minutes and 30 to play. Rockets up 13. Harden missing right there. That was a theme for the night. Look, live by the three, die by the three. This is something that we have seen from the Houston Rockets time and time again. Danilo Gallinari drilling the three-pointer. It's a quick 5-0 run. Under four minutes to play, it's now a 13-1 run, and Gallinari had hit another three-pointer. So here we see Harden again. He just can't get it going tonight. Sometimes your biggest strength is your biggest weakness, right? He believes in himself to a point that I'm going to make one. He's out here not saying, like, is this the best shot? He just wants to prove to himself that he can make one in that moment. He was one for... 17 from three-point range in the game. And then another opportunity here for the Thunder. Shea Gilgis-Alexander able to slam it down the other end. Hey, that boy, that young boy is bad. That is a talented talent. Okay, you can live by the three and die by the three. But at some point, you're going to have to switch it up sometimes. Because you're going to keep hurting your team to go far in the playoffs when y'all get there. It can hurt them. If you want to win a championship, some things have to change to order to win that championship. You can't have moments like this in the playoffs. They did one year when they kept on shooting and see it ain't working. Some things you have to switch up to order to get your team where you want them to go. And then you keep trying to look for a foul. This go up. Poor Leo, stop trying to look for a foul. That whole show every day now, everyone just look for a foul. They either go, let be way over there, they bounce the basketball and try to go into them to get a foul. And then when they will see it, they want to get mad at the referee. Some things have to switch up for this team to take another step. It's not working. Figure out something else to be able to get you going. Don't just keep trying to Go out there and shoot. On to the OKC team. Rockets ball here. 15 seconds left to play. Westbrook trying to get the pass. It looks to be intended for P.J. Tucker, but he dribbles. He's going to heave up the three-pointer, and it's not good. So the Thunder come back to win this one. 112-107. to 107. Westbrook had 32 points. It wasn't enough, though. Harden, after the game, when everyone left, you see him on the court. He's trying to put up more threes. But, James, what happened in this one? Like, you know, especially games like tonight, you know, and even the Lakers game. Uh, you're playing well, playing well, and then just uh, stop doing the things that, you know, get us to lead. Uh, you know, sooner or later, we're going to put a four-quarter four game together and just uh, build off that. Right now, we're in a period where something's going to go bad, it goes bad. And when it rains, it pours, it is pouring. All right, so the Rockets have certainly been struggling lately. James Harden, that historically tough night against the Thunder. In NBA history, there have been seven total instances of a player missing 16 three-pointers in a single game. Remarkably, James Harden has had six of those games. You said it, RJ. He believes he can hit those shots, so he's yeah. going to keep taking them. But Houston outscored by 20 points in the fourth quarter. Why does this team lately have so much trouble closing out games? Well, I, I wouldn't say lately. I, I think yeah. this has kind of been it, one thing that you, when you listen to the Rockets talk, you never talk about or you never hear them say, well, we're doing it because people don't believe in us or, or this is what we're what we're trying to do and trying to accomplish. At the end of the day, to me, the Houston Rockets know but people should not believe in them. They look. You look at the, the, the loss that they had to the Spurs a few years ago without Kawhi Leonard. You look at the way they have played without Kevin Durant uh, uh, against the Warriors. And they just consistently struggle in very, very big moments. Now, this is just a bad game, a bad fourth quarter. But ultimately, the Rockets, it's their job to convince us that we should believe in them. And they have not done any of that over the past few seasons. Is it too soon to say it's panic time there, or is it panic time yet? No, I, I, I wouldn't say panic time because I think anybody that really watches this game and consistently evaluates all of these teams and the players, this is kind of where we thought the Rockets... It's not time to panic. They still going to be a good, solid team in the West. But 
when it comes to that time that you had to lock in for the playoffs, you at least have to tweak it a little bit. You can't keep constantly thinking that's going to work. It's going to bite you once you get there and you take them shots and you off at the wrong time. And then you can look back at it and be disappointed at yourself. Because I constantly keep trying to take these shots and it ain't working. You have to find something else to be able to help your team out. Would be they would be shooting a lot of balls. They would be in some games. They'd be out some games. They're talented, so they're going to be able to make some noise. We know they're going to be in the postseason because they are so good. Yeah. But ultimately, are they a championship contending team? You have two guys that are in the prime of their career that have won MVPs, and no one views them as a championship team. And they still have other players on this team. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for more sports and analysis. Download the, e the best stuff in the, in the safe. Got me a spot.